Testing, testing, one, two, three. Is this thing on? Hello, and welcome to my first budgeting video. This will be my budget for December of 2019. And to do my budget, I'm going to be using the Every Dollar app by Dave Ramsey. All right, so here is my approximate income for this month. That will be $1,900. $82 with $52.47 left over to budget, which is essentially going to be my Christmas budget. We're doing a Secret Santa thing, which makes it a little bit less expensive. All right, so for my first or for my two paychecks for the month of December, I'm lowballing them um, because I get paid every two weeks. And then with the holidays and stuff, um, I'm not exactly sure what my pay is going to be. So I'm making sure that I have um, a bit of a cushion in there and hopefully <laughs> hopefully they're not lower than that. That would really suck. Um, you can see I have a section called Annette for income and that's from Erin's parents. They are so amazing and they're offering to help me pay my student loans. So they give me $250 to contribute to that, which is super amazing. Um, and then I also have $132.72 left over from November, which um, was basically just my buffer in case more stuff happened with my car. But that is what I have left over for November. Here you can also see what my rent is per month. So my half of the rent is $580. Aaron and I are super lucky that we don't have an extremely expensive rent to pay um this is just what's in my favorite so i'm gonna go ahead and skip over to my actual utilities and such so rent is already paid our utilities are already paid here's the approximate amount and then all of the um left over you can see that the little green bar isn't filled everything left over i have put into sinking funds um, and ultimately, I'm trying to save $500 just for extra car expenses because I am I am scarred over Carmageddon that happened in November. I never want to feel that way again. And so I just want to have a little left over, at least just for regular expenses. Um, so going into transportation, I usually use about $100 to $120 in gas every month, just depending on how many weeks end up being in the month, how they line up. So $100 is pretty good for me. Groceries are $100 um, per person. So $200 all together. We never really go over $200 to $250. Um, $40 for restaurants, that'll probably be different. This month though, that's just our usual for every single month. It'll probably be different because of the holidays. Um, but also then if there are extra groceries, you know, shampoo and stuff, it takes care of it. Next, the personal section. Uh, my phone is $88.34. That's for the service and also paying off my phone. Subscriptions is just like my um, phone insurance. The I have squared trade um, pads and tampons. You need those. And laundry is about $10 a month is what we spend um, just depending on you know, we got extra towels, extra bedding, and that kind of thing. Um, oh, for my subscriptions also counts Apple Music. For pet care, um, $10 to feed little beetle juice. And miscellaneous is $20 because we need to buy new water filters. Um, next, my auto insurance is $100. I'm on my parents' plan. It's a little less expensive. As for debt, my credit card that's still left over from renting a car with Carmageddon um, happening. I wasn't able to pay off that rental car when we went to Southern California to pick up the rest of my things, um, but I'm working on it. Um, and then for student loans, with the help of Aaron's parents, I should be able to pay around $712 this month. I'm really hopeful that that amount is going to actually happen. Um, if anything, I'm, I'm really shooting for $700 and then hopefully having about 60 to 70 left over for christmas presents as well as aaron's birthday because his birthday is on january 1st um so super close to christmas um but then i just need to budget a little bit better um so hopefully i will be able to pay off that much um i i really want to get back on the horse i feel really guilty about the fact that i wasn't able to pay off anything more than my minimum payments last month and I know that stuff happens and I I actually I didn't even end up having to dip into my 
emergency fund, which is pretty crazy. Um, just <laughs> lots of budgeting and um, Aaron's parents did help out a little bit. So that was super needed. Um, as for Carmageddon, hopefully things are over with. Um, car people, help me out. My serpentine belts, I had it retightened because it started squealing. And it's still squealing for like two second intervals. Is it because it's super cold here? It's like 40 degrees and it's a new belt and not broken in or something? Is that why it's still squealing a little bit or do I need to go back and get it tightened? I hopefully am not paying anything else in car maintenance this month. I can't emotionally or financially handle it, obviously. Um, so oh, praying, keep your fingers crossed for me. I'm just going back up to the top to talk about some things. Um, I also am in the lower checks accounting for the fact that I am getting a new job. Um, surprise, surprise. Uh, but the consistent hours, um, it's just, it's never going to be guaranteed, you know, it's, it's paid through insurance. I totally get it. Um, but I, I got a job as a youth development specialist here in Sacramento, and I am super excited to be working with at-risk youth specifically. I'm working with at-risk youth who had experienced homelessness. Um, they're not currently experiencing homelessness, but basically we'll be working on creating programs for them, um, meeting them where they're at, whether it's still working on self-esteem or separation anxiety or school or self-esteem. Did I already say that? Um, even, you know, basic hygiene. Um, I'm, I'm super excited. I think it encompasses more of my passions. You know, ABA really scratched my itch for teaching, but it didn't, it didn't involve programming, which is what I did a lot of in university. Um, so I'm excited to be able to do that and to be able to help older clients as much as ABA obviously can help older clients. It's, it's not the same as being able to do more of like a mentorship role with teenagers, especially teenagers that haven't really had someone there because their parents were, were struggling with homelessness or disability, um, or, and, and just weren't able to be financially and emotionally present for them because of what they were going through. Um, I'm, I'm extremely excited and I, I feel really blessed. Um, they offer benefits, full benefits, which a girl with glasses, you know, she needs that. Um, <laughs> and um, also it's going to be about like a four to $7,000 raise per year after this. Um, so I'm I'm really, really thankful. Um, at this point, I'm thinking of maybe even having the opportunity to pay like even $20,000 a year. And that would give me like $12,000 to live off of, which I think I can do. Even if it's just 19000 something. That could get me out of debt in like two years, like two, two and a half years, that would be incredible. I could, I could save to get a new car and, and I, 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 ugh, words cannot describe how good that would feel. Um, even though I still want to keep the same kind of car I have, I'm getting off on a tangent. So I will just go ahead and say goodbye right now. <laughs> Thank you for watching car people. What is going on with my car? Um, also, feel free to share this with people who need budgeting help. Share it with your friends.